but I've always wanted to go skydiving or bungee jumping. You know, something daring, you know. I mean, people have always described me as calm and mellow and predictable. I just wanted to do something to stand out as the crazy guy. Why haven't you? Well, the reason people call me calm and mellow and predictable is because I am. I, I just, I don't take risks. I don't do daring things. It's like I, I just... You've always wanted to be something other than yourself. Something different. Yeah, I guess. So what about you? What have you always wanted to do? Believe it or not, when I was little, I wanted to be a dancer. Really? Like in a club or... Shut up, Oliver. Sorry. Go on. I wanted to go on Broadway and dance, or maybe be a rockette or something, I don't know. I used to dance all the time. At home, when I was at the grocery store with my mom, in fact, she even used to say that the only time I wasn't dancing was when I was asleep. I wanted to dance in front of a crowd, in front of thousands of people. I wanted to be a star. What happened? I got older. I grew up and I became more self-conscious. Nowadays when I go to parties, I don't even talk to people. I haven't danced in years. I rarely talk to people that I'm not good friends with. You talk with Lauren and Joe. I know, but I got a feeling like, like I knew them before. Like they weren't just total strangers. It, it was weird. Well, there's nothing normal about what's going on here. You know, I'm surprised we still have power. Why? You think that thing would cut the power? Well, I don't think it would need to. Think about it. If everyone was dead or missing or whatever the hell happened to them, then there would be no one left to keep the power plants running in. But the campus gets power from the city. Which makes me think that the disappearances aren't just on campus. How far do you think this thing goes, Amber? What? What if we're not just the last people on campus, but the last in the city? Or the last in the state? Or the last in... But I spoke too soon. Oliver, no! Let's just try and get some sleep, okay? It's getting dark out. Huh? I said it's getting dark out. Oh. Another day wasted. Are you even listening to me? What? Why don't you turn off that computer so we can actually do something? I'm tired of wasting our lives rotting in this damn room. There's nothing wrong with this room. Amber. Amber. Will you get off the damn computer? Come on. All we do is sit here and do nothing. I'm bored and I'm tired. Sorry, but I have work to do. Just because you two is a bullshit major doesn't mean the rest of ours are easy. Come on. You used to always make time for us. Remember all the parties we used to go to? Remember the fun we used to have? Things are different now. I have to keep up my GPA so I can get my scholarship. Otherwise I can't afford anything. That's what you've always said. What? I said that's what you've always said. Listen, why don't you take a nap, and afterward we can go bowling or something. You like bowling. No, no, I never liked bowling. I went bowling because you wanted to go bowling. And besides, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm tired of this.
What? This. Us. It's not like it used to be. I'm trying, Amber. I know. I know, but... Listen, it's okay. Things can be okay again. We just have to make time for ourselves. Together. You know, there's a party this weekend, I think. Over at Stephanie and Amelia's. We could always go there. Sure. What the hell was that? I don't know. It, it, it sounded like Trisha. What are you doing? If there's a scream out there, then there must be a reason for it. Do you want to be the one screaming next? You know what I meant. Whatever grabbed Lauren could have grabbed Trisha and tracked us here. I mean, it showed you her death earlier, didn't it? It might have. What the hell do you mean, might have? Either you did or you didn't see her die. It did, but it might also have been me. Are you telling me you can see the future? <sighs> well, fine, then tell me what's going on. I mean, if we're in a different dimension, then tell me how to get home. I don't know everything. I don't even know what I saw, except that... Trisha... Why don't you look out the window again? See if you see anything else. Do we really want to see? Besides, it's the keyhole we need to look through now. The keyhole. I didn't really think of that. <coughs> That's Trisha. She needs our help. Wait! Amber, wait! I saw her here. I ran towards her and she walked behind the cars and... I lost her. Trisha? It's Trisha? Yes, it's Trisha. I saw her standing right here on this spot. Then she turned behind this car and now she's... There she is. There she is. There she... What. The. Hell. Did I just. Miss. Something? Did she just. Yeah, she did. But it's no weirder than what happened to Lauren. At least. It was more peaceful. She didn't just die, did she? She just disappeared. I mean, what, is she dead? Is she a ghost? Did she leave this place, this dimension, whatever? I mean, what the bloody Queen Mary Elizabeth of hell did we just see? I don't know, Oliver. Why are you asking me these things? There she is. Oh shit. What now? I, uh, left my key in the room. Uh, what? You mean you screwed us even more? I'm sorry. I was worried about Trisha. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Just a little freaked out. The disappearing banshee. Okay, we can still get into my house. But that's half a mile away! Whatever got Lori could get to us before we get there! What if it's on its way here? And if we run, we should be able to make it. You're not making any sense! If we try and run across campus with that thing out there, we could die! I'd rather fight it at my house than here. I mean, I live on the second floor, so at least we'd have the aerial advantage. Oliver, we're not fighter planes. We're a couple on an abandoned college campus with ghosts, the Grim Reaper, and nothing else. A couple? Let's go.